Hello everybody, this is going to be a quick overview of this uh, serial reader that I've created. I'll have an, a separate video on how you can make this. Um, so, this is a serial reader. It reads serial at a rate of 9600 baud. Um, you can change that in the code however you like. Um, but it's pretty simple. I created it in one day and not too difficult. I've got one of these Lipoly batteries in the back. Um, so it's a portable device. And then the on and off switch and the little screen. This is a Nokia 5110. And then I have a little charger right here that connects to these uh, USB charging ports. Um, so you can charge the battery. Um, so we can go ahead and test this. I've got a, a AT Mega 168, but you can really use whatever chip you'd like for this project. Um, there was one issue with it. There were a few issues with this chip. Um, so I had to work around. And it really could have been better if I used a, a chip that has more memory. And I'll explain why in a little bit. So I'll go ahead and turn this on just to show you what it looks like whenever, whenever it starts up. So as soon as you turn it on, it shows this logo, the Adafruit logo. And then it goes to the program. This is where it would be reading the text right now. Um, but I don't have it hooked up to anything. So what we're going to do is just hook it up real quick to this project over here and just show you um, this project shoot, uh, spits out some serial of time. So it spits out time, uh, the current time. Uh, so let's go ahead and hook that up real quick. Um, we've got the ports down here on the bottom. So the orange, the orange goes to... The orange goes to positive, the brown goes to negative, and the green is the RX port, so it would go to TX. Uh, RX is for receiving, TX is for transmitting, so this is RX. And so on the project over here, we're going to connect it up to the pins accordingly. So we'll connect up the orange to the positive of the project, which would be this wire over here. And then we can connect the negative to the negative on the project, which would be the wire over here. And you can see that the project started up because it just got power. And then finally, just plug in the green to the TX port on the project. Here you can see it instantly starts spitting out serial data. And so so it's so it's reading the data at a rate of uh, 9600 baud and uh, it the project is spitting out the current time set on this project. It's got a little RTC module to keep track of time. Um, so yeah, this is just a quick overview of this chip and like I said earlier I'm using a AT Mega 168 and I had a few issues with that um, if I had a a chip with more memory I could have gotten a better scrolling effect you can see right now it just goes through um, the scrolling trying to get it to focus um, but it goes through the scrolling and then it just resets the screen Instead, I could have gotten it to uh, scroll up simply, but um, due to limitations of the chip, uh, memory lim limitations, I wasn't able to get that to work. So if I had a better chip, I could make this work a little better. But uh, this is what I've got so far, and I'll have a video um, later showing you how to build one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and if you like these types of videos.